I'm Ashley, the Monogram Mompreneur. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. In today's video, it's super special. We are doing a Disney embroidery only craft with me. We are getting ready to go on our spring break Disney trip and I have a lot of things I want to make before we go. So let's go ahead and get started. I will link everything I'm using today, including the designs, the machines, the fonts, everything in the description box below. And I will also link at the end of the video some other Disney videos I've made, like this cute sublimation shirt. But today it's embroidery only, so let's go ahead and get started with our first project. So if you don't know, we live in Florida and it's been so hot, like in the 80s. And when we're going to Disney, it's going to be a little chilly. So I have to make some Disney sweatshirts to go over um, our clothes in the morning in case it's a little chilly. So let's go ahead and get started with our first project. On the Melco EMT 16X, we are going to do this design right here. It's going to be so cute. All right, let's get it on the machine. Okay, so for our first project, we're going to use this Jersey's New Blend. It's a quarter zip. Um, I get these from SNS Activewear or Jiffy Shirts. Um, this is the darker gray color and um, we're gonna do a left chest. So let's go ahead and hoop it. I'll be using my five and a half by five and a half inch mighty hoop and some classic cutaway from All Stitch. Let's get it hooped. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna hoop our item. I've already measured, so for our left chest logos or monograms, you go six to nine inches down from at the collar, so six to nine inches down depending on the size, and then from that center seam, you wanna go four to six over. And I just marked my spot with my favorite designs and machine embroidery target stickers. So I went about a four and a half over from center, six and a half down to find my perfect placement. Just depending on the size of your monogram or design um, is kind of where you determine your placement as well as the size of your pullover. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we have our classic cutaway and our mighty hoop. We're gonna take the right hand side down and we're just gonna slide this in. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and just zip this so I know it's straight. You can also use a hooping station, but for those of you that don't have it, I will show you. You can do it just as easy. If you're doing a ton of these though, you definitely want the hooping station. Okay. So I just like to use this and kind of use my thumbs. So now I'm gonna gently place. my stabilizer in and it's gonna get a little wonky but we're just gonna go back over and we want to make sure that this center is pretty centered in our hoop because it's a huge design so looks about good all right now we're just gonna make sure It's a little low, so we'll see if it works. If not, we'll just rehoop it. Woo! Okay, you see it says hoop limit detected. Oh, I wonder if that's gonna be too high. So you can see it says hoop limit detected, so it's not gonna let me stitch. So let me just go adjust it because I really don't wanna move my placement and have it wrong. So as you can see, we were a little off, so let me go move it to where this is in the center so we can embroider because it's, it fills up this whole five by five frame. Okay, this looks a little better. Let's go ahead and put it on the machine. Again, let's make sure nothing is gonna get sewn to the back. Okay, looks good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and center it again. Okay. Make sure all my colors are assigned. So I'm just using my laser to find that cross here. It looks good. So now I'm just gonna toggle and grab this sticker. We can reuse this sticker. And so I've already got my colors assigned even though it looks a little wonky. I promise it works. I'm also gonna um, be at two clicks for the presser foot and it's a 16 minute stitch out, 14,000 stitches. That's incredible um, how quickly that's gonna stitch this out. And let's get started.
this might be my new favorite. This is the cutest design ever. Look at this, how cute is that? It says Disney Mama. She has different versions. Um, she just has the rainbow with the ears and a few different versions of this. This is so cute. Let me go ahead and trim these jump stitches and we'll take it off the hoop and try it on. Okay, it turned out so good. I've trimmed the jump stitches. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rip as much as I can of this off. And actually, they're pretty, not bad at all. And then I'm going to do my trick where you take your water, you spritz it down, get it wet enough, and then whoop. I didn't have it on that part, but it did so good. Look, it got all that off. If you have not tried that trick yet, you need to. Okay, so there is the finished product. I'm gonna go in and just trim around the design. Making sure not to cut it. Got a little close there. You can always trim it back up. I'm just on like a rough cut. How cute is that? This is perfect for those rope dropping early mornings. My little ones wake up super early anyways. So we love to get to the park right when it opens. So this will be perfect for standing in line while we're waiting. Um, so gorgeous. I am so excited about this one. Okay, next up we're gonna make my son a cute a Mickey outline sweatshirt. This is the Gildan Heavy Blend Kids Sweatshirt. And I just used my Cricut Mini Press so I didn't have to heat up my iron or heat press and created a center line. And then I kinda gauged how big my design was. I looked at my center of my armpit and went about three and a half over, five and a half down. Again, this is kid size, not toddler. So I had to kind of adjust based on the size of this and the design I'm using. So let's go ahead and get on the machine. I think it's gonna be super quick. Again, we're just gonna use our Mighty Hoop and some classic cutaway. Riding side down. Okay, and I'm kind of gonna get it where I want it. Then we're gonna place our classic cutaway in here. and then we will hoop it. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, so we have everything loaded onto our machine and I'm just gonna again put this. There we go. All right, so we have this cute little mouse head applique design and this Disney inspired font. So I'm just gonna find my center, I'm a little off. So I'm just using my laser to find the perfect placement. Now I'm gonna trace. So I'm gonna add my water selfie on top. I've had a question before, why don't you put it on when you're hooping? Because I use the Target stickers and I don't wanna have to sew through the stickers and deal with all that. So um, the placement stickers are worth it to me and I can just kind of finagle this um, as it's stitching. Definitely just wanna make sure it doesn't bunch up. But I think water soluble is good, especially on sweatshirts. It helps it stay crisp and clean. Make sure you don't get your fingers in the way. And let's get started. So we just finished in six minutes. That is record time. Look how gorgeous this is. So I'm gonna trim the jump stitches, get the water salvi off, trim the back stabilizer, and this one's done. And we'll get our monogram mouse ears on the machine. Okay, so here's what it looks like. I will link all the design info and font info in the description box below. So make sure you check that out if you're looking for a specific Thing that I'm doing. That was such a quick stitch out. I love it. So this was originally an applique design, but I am loving the trend where you don't put fabric in the applique design. You just let it just be. So cute. Okay. So we got this out. 
Let's go ahead and trim up our back. One more little jump stitch. I like to trim the jump stitches before I take the water salvia off to give me a little bit of a barrier in between this shirt so I don't accidentally cut the shirt. Okay. Rip off, get as much off as we can, and then we will do our stabilizer trick right here. So again, take our water, our extra stuff we just tore off, and we don't have any really here. Um, spray. Ta-da! This turned out so adorable. I love this for my son. It's Mickey, but it's still very classic and cute. Okay, let's go on to our Comfort Colors Monogram Pocket Tee. I've already marked my placement on the pocket. If you want to see an in-depth tutorial on Comfort Colors um, monogramming or embroidery, you can click at the link below. I'll link my latest video. But let's go ahead and hoop it. The same hoop, five and a half by five and a half mighty hoop. That is my most used hoop. If you're looking for a mighty hoop, and you're wondering which size, that is my most used hoop. So I've got it marked and we are gonna go ahead and get this hooped and on the machine. So for my comfort color tees, I like to use these little six by six squares from All Stitch and I put the stabilizer in the pocket um, so that way you don't have to feel it on your chest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll speed it up for you. I am gonna take some tearaway stabilizer, put in between my shirt and the um, hoop just to give it some extra tension. Okay, let me turn you around so you can see. Okay, so we are gonna do a monogram topper. It's a fill stitch and then a beautiful, um, one of my favorite monograms. I'm a little concerned that it might be too big, but we're gonna see when we get it on if I need to shrink it a little bit. Let's see. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna have to take my pins out. I think it's gonna work. I'm just gonna go with it. If it was for a customer, I would probably shrink it down in my software. But for now, we're just gonna go with it. Bigger is always better for monograms for me. So I'm gonna take the pins out. Um, I'm gonna assign my colors. I feel like I was gonna do a white bow, but now I'm thinking I wanna do a pink bow. So I'm gonna assign those colors and we're gonna get to stitching. I like it. It's gonna be like a lily. I think that's gonna be cute. Or should I do a white monogram? I think I'm gonna do a white monogram. Let me put some white thread on my machine. Okay, so it just finished, it is so cute. Look at this, oh my gosh. I'm so excited to wear this. Okay, so I do have some jump stitches to trim. Um, it did pretty well. Uh, I don't think, I could have moved it up just a smidge, but it took up this whole pocket. So overall, I am very pleased with it. 
Um, again, if you're doing placement, don't be afraid to go past um, this double line right here because you still have a little bit of room. So I think it looks great. Let me trim the jump stitches and we'll take it off the hoop and look at it close up. I did end up pinning some water salvage to the top and removing the pins I had just because um, it was a nice fill stitch design. Okay, so I took that off and now I'm gonna trim up the jump stitches before I take off the water salvy. This is a little tricky. I'm gonna bend it forward a little bit so I don't accidentally trim some stitches. There we go, what do you think? I love this design. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. I love this. It's so gorgeous. I'm so glad I did the pink bow. It goes perfect with these ears. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do my daughter's sweatshirt. Again, it's gonna be a little chilly in the mornings when we're there, so I wanna make sure they have a cute um, sweatshirt or jacket to wear. So let's go ahead and get this on the machine. It's gonna be another applique without the fabric and a cute mini design. Let's go ahead and hoop it. We're gonna use the same technique. Our target stickers, our cutaway stabilizer, our mighty hoop. We are just rolling today. Let's go ahead and I'll speed it up for you. Okay, so it just finished. It is gorgeous. Look how beautiful. I love it. Let's go clean it up and we will be done. That was so quick. I knocked out so many things um, to get us ready for our trip. So let's go finish up this last one. So this turned out so cute. I think if it would have been a toddler size, I would have had to make it a little smaller because it definitely filled up the whole section. But how gorgeous, she is gonna love this. So that is it for today's video. Which one was your favorite? I mean, they all were so good. Oh, I think the Disney Mama, it's my favorite and then the others but that was just so gorgeous so again i will link everything i used today in the description box below make sure you check out those links and tell me your favorite in the comments and until next time bye for now